Hi boys and girls, today I wanted to show you a little bit of our Chromebook. You'll see that as soon as you log in, there are multiple tabs that automatically open. The most important one is our Clever login. That's the one I'm on right now. If you get permission from your teachers, go ahead and close the other tabs you're not using. So for example, I'm going to close the mail one today for my Gmail. I'm going to close student view and I'm going to close school city. I am going to keep the Clever login open because I'm going to show you. All we have to do is click login with Google and that will log you into our uh, Clever account. This will give you all of the apps and tools we use. For example, if you need to access Google Classroom, you have a link from there. For example, I'm going to show you Seesaw today. So one thing you can do is with your apps in Clever, go ahead and click on the little heart icon and they'll pull up your favorite resources up at the top so they'll be easy to find. So for today's example, I'm going to show you how we're going to log into Seesaw through Clever. So once I log into Clever, I'm going to click on Seesaw. Once it loads, it'll give you a couple of different options to select. We're going to select I am a student and log in there. With there, the next step would be to click on this where it says log in with Google. And once that loads, that should pop up. And because you're in your Chromebook, you should be able to select your name and it should automatically sign you into your Seesaw class. So for example, this is a demo class that it's in. For today's example, I wanted to show you if a Zoom link was shared in your Seesaw of how you can access it and do a split screen on your Chromebook. So for example, I'm gonna access the Zoom link. Your teacher might have posted it in Google Classroom or Seesaw or Class Dojo. For today's example, I'm gonna show from Seesaw. So I can see here in the sample, it says Ms. Patel Zoom, click on the link. I'm in my Seesaw, so I'm gonna click on that. And you can see that it's pointing to the chain link. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the link to join the Zoom that my teacher has set up. And you'll see that I'll open up Zoom itself and then I may need to sign in or it might sign in for me. So my problem here is that there's two windows and they cover each other up. So one thing I can do is I can do a split screen and put these side by side. So I can click on my Zoom and on my keyboard, on my Chromebook, I'm gonna click on Alt and depending on where I want this to be on the left or the right, I'm gonna click on the bracket symbol that's next to the P. So I'm gonna click on Alt and I'm gonna click on the right black bracket and it moves it to the right. Now, let's say I still wanna be able to see my seesaw and once I get to that, that covers my zoom. So now if I want both of the screens next to each other, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Alt again and I'm gonna look for the bracket symbol. This one is next to the letter P, so I'm gonna click on that. Now these are side by side, so this is how you do a split screen. So when I'm in the zoom, I'll be over here on this side and I'll be able to see my teacher and follow along. And if I need to navigate to other tabs that they push out, maybe they'll push out through GoGuardian, or if I'm doing Nearpod or anything like that, I'll be looking at it on this screen. So again, this is how you do the split screens where you have them right next to each other.